Enter grade amnesia means you have difficulty making new memories and absorbing new information. For instance, alcohol-induced blackouts are a type of anterograde neurological amnesia is when a person can no longer form new long-term health sequence or episodic memories. An episodic memory is an event you can recall from memory, such as a birthday party or breaking your leg. Think of it as watching a TV show. This type of amnesia can vary in severity, with some cases being as minor as a difficulty forming new memories and more severe cases not being able to form memories at all. Short-term memory is generally retained, which means that the patient may be able to hold a thought or conversation if they are focused. However, as soon as they are distracted, the memory of the conversation fades. It may also retain previously established skills or habits. This means an individual with anterograde amnesia may be taught a new skill, such as how to play chess. The next day, they will have no memory of learning this skill, but when asked to try to play chess, they can often perform quite well, suggesting that memories have been formed. Anterograde amnesia can be traced to injury to areas in the forebrain. If, for example, we continue with the idea that alcoholic blackouts are a form of short-term anterograde amnesia, this would be caused by a blockade in the neural pathways in the brain, which stops new memories from forming while still in intoxicated. It could also occur if the brain is punctured, infected by to toxins, if the patient is under extreme stress, and also during surgery. Anterograde amnesia can present itself after causing damage to three distinct brain areas. The first is the hippocampus, the brain's memory center. According to Catherine E. Myers, author of Memory Loss and the Brain, the hippocampus seems to act as a gateway through which new fact information must pass before being permanently stored in memory. If it is damaged, no new information can enter memory, although older information which has already passed through the gateway may be safe. Damage to the hippocampus can be due to many known accidents, such as strokes or aneurysms to one of the arteries which supplies blood to the medial lobes, as well as epilepsy, hypoxia, carbon monoxide poisoning, near drowning, or suffocation during early stages of Alzheimer's or during the average aging process. Anterograde amnesia can also be expressed if damage occurs to the basal forebrain, an area which produces a chemical known as actylocline, which assists the brain in learning and retaining new information. Damage could occur if the anterior artery responsible of delivering blood to the basal forebrain undergoes an aneurysm. If the diacephalon, the posterior section of the forebrain responsible for homeost homeostasis, motor function and senses get damaged. This may also cause enterograde amnesia. Currently, there is no good understanding of why damage to these brain areas could sometimes result in a selective memory deficient such as amnesia. Enterograde amnesia is not fatal. However, there is also no complete cure for severe cases as it stands in 2015. A diet that is rich in brain foods such as almonds, sage, cumin, apples, and so on, may increase memory and amnesia of patients, as does cutting out alcohol. Minor cases may recover over time.